on human lives. We want to share stories with you. The story strikes us, and we think it's going to strike you as well, as remarkable in so many different ways. A military device transformed into a life-saving surgical tool, and a doctor who inadvertently stumbles upon the one thing that holds the key to saving his patient's life. It's an amazing story. Sometimes the right information falls into the right hands at exactly the right time. When that happens in medicine, the results can be life-changing. Dr. Thomas Ellis is a neurosurgeon at Wake Forest University Baptist Medical Center in North Carolina. This story begins when a 19-year-old patient arrived in his emergency room. An MRI scan confirmed what Dr. Ellis suspected. So this is the tumor here. A very large tumor right in the center of his brain. A tumor in this location, the third ventricle, is so challenging because to get there requires operating through a long, narrow corridor alongside delicate brain matter. It became clear to me that this was unlike any tumor I had ever encountered. You know, after trying to dis dissect the tumor just five minutes uh, with each scalpel, and the scalpel would be dull, and I had to move on to, to use another scalpel. Went through at least a half dozen of them. After nine hours of surgery, Dr. Ellis made the difficult decision to leave most of the tumor behind, rather than risk injury to his patient. It was just completely demoralized, and I really have not encountered a situation like that in 15 years of doing neurosurgery, where I really, in spite of my best efforts lasting most of the day, uh, could not remove any more than, than 15 to 20 percent of the tumor. It's just very demoralizing. And, and while the patient was doing okay, I was really pretty down by the time I got home that night. Being the father of four children myself, just the thought of having to go through something like this with one of my own children is just um, beyond words. Um, I got home, I, I saw my kids, I uh, read them uh, the typical kind of, you know, uh, end of the night story and tucked them in, in, in bed for the night. Um, and then I went uh, upstairs to my office. And I uh, started to catch up on some news at CNN.com, which is a pretty much a nightly habit. There was an article in the health section uh, entitled, uh, From Military Device to Life-Saving Surgical Tool. My first thought was, I would have given anything to have this tool available six or seven hours ago. A quick sequence of emails that night put Dr. Ellis in touch with a local rep for OmniGuide, the company that manufactures the beam path fiber tool. Three days later, Dr. Ellis was practicing on the equipment. Originally designed as a military tool for the U.S. Department of Defense, the fiber optic invention just rolled out for neurosurgery three months before Dr. Ellis read about it. The streamlined beam path fiber allows surgeons to easily manipulate a CO2 laser and bend it to reach almost any tissue in the body. In cases where a scalpel might pose danger, the fiber channels a CO2 laser in a more precise way, melting and then shaving off the tumor really about the size and the feel of a, of a fountain pen. Just five days after the first operation, Dr. Ellis was back in surgery for a second time on his 19-year-old patient, this time with the OmniGuide beam path fiber. Over the course of the next three and a half to four hours, we were able to remove the remaining 80 to 85 percent of tumor that I couldn't have taken out after working most of the day during the first operation. So I made my way to the waiting room to see B's mother. You know, it's such a large room, you can see the eyes across the room, and she was looking with some trepidation as I was walking toward her, just not knowing what I was gonna say. And, you know, I tried to give her a thumbs up from about 50 feet away and a smile on my face and just let her know we're in great shape. I think it's an amazing story because it's yet another demonstration of how interconnected we've all become in this world. Here you have a CNN reporter in London who writes a story about a neurosurgeon in Chicago who's using a device that was invented in Massachusetts. That story is read by a different neurosurgeon in North Carolina. And all within about 72 hours, we have the device in North Carolina. And in the span of just a few days, 
we perform really a life-saving operation on this patient. And that's our look around the world at news vital to your health. Be sure to visit our website at cnn.com slash vital signs. And if you have a question, we might just answer it on the air. So email us. Vital